so welcome back guys my name is useful chain and in today's episode we are going to be taking a look at this cobblestone breaking machine with, a, with this design and a much simpler design so i guess let's get right into it so yeah guys this is a cobblestone gen design that it is currently disabled because I disabled it because it has some minor glitches in it if I can find it but yeah it had some minor it glitches and some issues with it this day so yeah I mean I hope you guys are calmed up and let's get right into it so what I want to do at the start is legit just activate these machines let's see how like well they do and yeah so i mean i am going to disable this for for the time being because dispenser drops the lap oh yeah oh wait i actually broke that piece a hey. that is yeah so well, we have to wait for the signal yep right yep i believe this will work perfectly as you can see this is a simpler design but yeah still this design will work a hundred percent if for example blocks don't glitch which happened quite in this project so yeah and now let's just turn on well firstly this and then uh, let's just turn on this yeah too so what this does is precious cobblestone forward but not down yet because we need to activate that piece right now i said like right now yep and now it starts pushing down cobblestone and as you guys as may see it in a minute it will stop uh yeah this just glitches sometimes i don't know why these pistons aren't pushing it though right up it should stop what is it wrong with this right now it worked 100 percent perfectly like some minutes before this recording so yeah Ah, uh, but I don't know why it doesn't work right now. So just give me a minute. Let me just disable this clock. Let me get a much, much simpler clock set up right here. Because I mean, it is. I don't know why it didn't work. It worked perfectly at testing times, but let's start testing, testing times, yeah. I mean, yep, as you can see now, it works 100% flawlessly. And yeah, so this design pretty much is my own. It just, just like, yeah, so I'm just gonna give you guys a brief tour. And like, yeah, uh, I mean, I can say like, they can just show you guys is like how much it takes for it to travel for the TNT. So it doesn't make a double explosion because no one wants that in a cobblestone farm to happen obviously yeah i'm using a one tick clock as i like to call them it's pretty much like one tick and yeah same here it's just yeah but as you can see there are some minor bedrock glitches that as you can see for example the disappearing redstone block right here and also you can see that glitch right here it happens quite a lot honestly also like with uh, certain glitches yeah there is a couple of bugs I came across while making this farm firstly uh, I do know that you guys is, might not believe me but yeah I came across a pretty great glitch to like destroy something and as you can see those obsidian patches down there 
that was legit the explosion size of one TNT that got glitched out after I uh, got like I quit the game but yeah really I didn't try to quit the game and it didn't save it and it created this like huge explosion which blew up legit like this play this like entire place and also those patches down there so yeah let's get right into actually the farm so as you can see it works flawlessly its performance is real nice yeah maybe we can get like rid of these three last rows or something i actually don't know because like the explosion range isn't as big as i expected it but yeah it's a nice addition to it so mainly it should be like a six uh by six by one line or six by three and yeah it should actually be working right now so let me just like check if all these work yeah, as you can see, those ones, which is that one. And yeah, as you can see, all these sticky pistons push a redstone block against them. And that creates this, like, layer of, like, uh, what's it called? This, like, layer of, uh, yeah, that happens a bit, that where it just, like, gets pushed. But I don't know, is, are the glitch blocks back? I hope they're not, because those can actually block the explosion. Yeah, yeah, you see guys, it's like right there. That I need to disable well, this thing. Oh, I forgot that. If you have a sword on you, you can't. So yeah, did you guys see it? It, it fell through this thing, so... I mean, I still have to solve that problem. Maybe a bit more, a bit later. But, this is just annoying to deal with. I don't know why they glitched three blocks. I mean, I know that it can it might not be capable to keep it up, keep up with the thing system. But, I actually have a much, much simpler solution than this. This is just like a... Well, it's an 8x1 cobblestone... A uh, cobblestone gem which uh, is powered by a which actually powers a what's it called let me just like say just give me a minute uh yeah which is powered by a by this machinery which gets actually filled in this and then this one just Literally all it does is just dispenses it down to this hopper minecart Which actually has the speed to collect most of it Which means that it gets equally split also from like uh, Yeah, this happens sometimes and it breaks and then it just like Dispenses some like things to it that aren't supposed to be in the actual machinery But yeah, that's annoying to deal with so yeah, how it works is that these get, then these uh, dispensers get like powered, these dispensers power that. And for the smelting system to work, it's pretty much, it's pretty easy. It's a zero tick bamboo farm, which makes great fuel source for this. And yeah, this is a fully automated, functional, I think for him. Yeah, so as you could have seen there. And then it gets dispensed down here by a one more one tick clock. And then, yeah, as you can see, there is some glitches right there. Like, you can see those dispensers are working. Actually, they are working, like you could have seen there. And in this case, it just doesn't seem like there is a redstone block there. But there is an actual redstone block there if you are worried. I, I know. Because it's like, yeah, I guess this spans into this water, and then, yeah, this collects that. And then on this side, there is a one more uh, one tick clock right here. And what that does pretty much is activates these dispensers down here, as you can see, uh, and that dispenses the 
stone blocks that were that yeah the cobblestone blocks that were smelting into this water elevator up then pretty much call or hopper collects it and yeah you get a lot of stone out of it this was like two hours of like i don't know like like a one hour or something like that time but yeah still it does a great job and everything is like you could have seen at the start that it does a massive it does a massive amount of work instead of you so if you just like have something to do there like somewhere and then but you always have to be careful because this form it has to be like sometimes it has to like reach certain parts because it can get glitched which is like one of the most hateable things if it gets block glitched as you can see right there that was a block pushing it and then it falling through as a entity which I think should be solved for TNT so it doesn't count as like entity getting pushed by a piston and can fall through the floor well, that is just annoying simply but yeah you can solve all of these issues by just breaking that one block and then it will be solved so it might have a few jams because uh, yeah those farms in the back those generate super fast like legit the fastest but as you can see just uh, as you can see it misses the TNT and that is one of the major issues with bedrock edition that when it gets pushed and then it's like yeah you see and I mean yeah and then it can't quite recover the thing it can't quite recover it's like full like uh, thing so you will just have to remove like a couple of blocks maybe and then you will have a fully working and functional cobblestone gen farm even stone gen yes and you will have a very large explosion so yeah it just can't mess with the tnt because that is going to cause a lot of a lot of trouble on this side so yeah as you can see it was in it was water invulnerable to tnt and yeah i just don't know that bedrock should just probably fix this glitch that invulnerable farms to tnt because this can like legit affect so many things like as you can see like right here if i just break that and yeah it barely broke because it was still in motion on this spot so yeah i mean you just have to break a couple of blocks so it works a hundred percent functional yep so it works a hundred percent functional and i mean that's pretty much this farm but I mean, as you can see, it collects a lot of drops per like per like time. So yeah, yeah, it's t it is still a great cobblestone gen farm. The thing with it is is that it's just annoying to operate because well, maybe you could do like the cobblestone generator just like gets like two ticked, I guess. Yeah, but I don't know that would be that would have to be like a regular redstoner that would have to be like a actual redstoner who knows how to see it glitched through the block i just put that there in like a minute or two so yeah you guys seen that it glitched onto this block which can cause for the that thing to break but yeah also it can glitch to one more block which is actually really, really, really annoying. And yeah, as you guys can see, in a minute maybe, we can get us some stone. Oh, wait a second. What stone do we have here? Uh, is this the same amount? All the furnaces is jammed. That's a great question. 
because everything gets delivered today is a middle for analysis. But yeah, uh, it's just annoying to check them. But I guess now I have to kind of check them. Uh, what? Does, oh yeah, see? This is what I was actually talking about, that it is annoying to check them. Because it might jam some of the furnaces there. For example, it just might jam some furnaces. But yeah, as you can see, for example, <laughs> right here again, it just jams these furnaces. And it's not that good to have jammed furnaces. But yeah. And I mean, yeah. Again, yeah, and this is an actual pain in uh, the in uh, playing on an iPad. It is actually a pain to so that you have to put down a wait, wait, wait. oh I for, I put it in the wrong thing again. It has to face in the I like always forget that. Uh, mm, these actually don't store that much things. It's only if like it's an overflow system, so it doesn't get affected by it. So yeah, it's only a, a overflow system design. But yeah, so we yeah, have to put this back here. This back here. The overall annoying part is just having these items that might break at the top. Just having them and putting them back. That is the only annoying part in this. Pretty much. What? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Alright, yep. And... And now, yep. And now it should work 100% functionally. I just have to turn this machinery on. Which you can obviously connect to the top where the AF gate spot is findable. Which is right here. This this area is actually the AF gate spot. Which like, yeah, I mean, you can AF gate wherever you want. Kind of around this farm. But still, it is the official AF gate spot that I thought about so yeah because it's not too far from the TNT duper so it doesn't work but not too far from the zero tick farm so that it breaks also it doesn't cause a, that much lag as you can see my my frame rates aren't dropping anything or anything like that but the main thing main issue with this design in here is that the what's it called it, the, but once this double chest fills up with bamboo I mean it just gets pretty pretty obnoxious that yeah I don't know why but yeah the my hope mine minecart just like it doesn't get enough cobblestone into like this area right here so that might happen but I mean this is an overall good as you can see yep there is some stone drops yeah you can see them um, you can see this uh, thing in full action and yeah I mean that just was like 50 in like a minute or two so yeah that's like I mean that's pretty amazing isn't it so then I came up with another Which is going to be this one right here. Even though there is some piston glitch, which it was unnecessary and I wasn't thinking of it might be happening. But I don't know why this piston isn't pushing or like this piston isn't pushing. It just happens sometimes that it, the pistons just don't try to work with you. But yeah, so I guess like. Yeah, but, okay. oh yeah, I, I broke this one final piece to it, which is, go and this one too, so yeah, and then this one will actually cause a 
lot more benefits to it even though this might happen like sometimes it just does do happen but yeah I should have made a blast protection like I should have made some blast protection to it but yeah this was original this was only meant to be like a design so yeah so I mean I can just like if I can just get some TNT like right underneath it why does it not work? Why is it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why is jammed in the system? Oh, come on. So, yeah, I sometimes, you, you sometimes have to actually take it out. But I do not know what, hap what, what is happening right here. But, yeah, I mean, with all these farms on this server, I am probably <laughs> turning this one, this one, zero tick farm off which by the way if you don't know how a zero tick bamboo farm works it's pretty easy it's just more wait one second let me get my sword out so i don't break it so how it works is that this part of the thing we, um, lets this piston fire at a rate which updates this sand so it falls but it doesn't fall because it gets pushed back in and that happens to and that somehow happens to grow this bamboo once it's like two block taller once it's like two more sand blocks on top of it and also to connect it up there's some redstone torches that fire and yeah and this is how it pretty much works so it updates that one sand block that one sand block then allows those two sand blocks to think that they are going to fall so the bamboo tries to grow but then it just updates this block that so it doesn't fall and then yeah and the this <laughs> Right, it's it's a really really simple mechanism, and you can find a hundred percent surely a video about how to make a zero tick bamboo farm. So yeah, if this design would finally be willing to work, I don't know why it doesn't, because this design always uses the same exact uh thing same exact clock so i can just like maybe fix this because this like um uh, yeah it seems to work so in this design case it the uh, thing is obviously yeah i should have used obsidian right here instead of like gloss because it is a blast protective that way but still so yeah, you just have to allow it to like, so you just legit have to allow this machine to get a TNT falling down there. And then yeah, it will just like, yep, right there. And it will then just work its way fully functionally. And yeah, it will just destroy the redstone. Uh, I mean, <laughs> redstone, no, 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 not the redstone. It will destroy the cobblestone and yeah all the cobblestone will end up down here in uh, as you can see i had some stuff exploding and yeah that's not that pleasant but yeah uh, i don't know why i have tnt here probably because i broke the machinery once or twice so let me just like take these tnt and stuff out so i can have uh, yep, and then let's take this piston out. I said take everything out. All right, yeah. Uh, no, you can just pull. And yep, and then like as you guys can see, it produces a pretty good amount of cobblestone. So yeah, I mean it's an automatic farm. But th about these farms, the always the most worrying thing about these farms is that I don't know why it doesn't. Why? 
Oh, because this machinery is still in the blast zone. So what I made here wrong was that, that this part can explode. This one part of the redstone can still explode. So what I think... Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. No, 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 don't, don't, don't break it. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. No, 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 don't, don't, nope, no escaping lava, please, please don't, nope, nope, not allowed. Yeah, I don't, oh yeah, that's the problem with that one. Uh, I finally figured it out on video, so now I'm going to look like an idiot in all the people's eyes who actually realized it at the start that it wouldn't work because it's still in the blast zone. Because if you didn't know, uh, probably knew, or I don't know, but yeah, or something, I don't even know. To be honest, I'm just going to replace this part, so yeah, just give me a minute. So, yeah, uh, I just need to replace that part a bit more, a bit better, so yeah, now that we got all this actually contained, I hope this one still works, yep, it works around, I don't know why this, this one piece part of the thing doesn't work, I guess it's like more of a, oh yeah, it's because of this. This machinery, I don't understand why it wouldn't work, but it just, I just can't get it to work. I mean, this like one, oh, I mean like this one piston, I actually tried giving it its own like redstone source and everything. I don't know what kind of glitch that is. It just doesn't seem to work. But yeah, let me just like deconstruct this and construct it outside of a last zone. So yeah, just like give me a minute. <laughs> I know that that like I don't know how many percent of you guys are going to miss this time, miss a time lapse per day. I absolutely don't know, cause well, I mean, yeah. And we just make one of these. And then we just make a platform. But that would be still in the blast zone. So let me just like raise it up high in like the stop. Because that would work a lot more better. So let me just like raise it right here, raise it right here. And now it shouldn't break it in theory, because, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, even the dispenser got exploded. That, that's not good. So, yeah. So, like, I will check back in you, with you guys in a minute once I am done, like, building this part of it back in. And let me just, like, check... Okay, so yeah, it's supposed to be like right here, which if I'm correct, nope, I'm not, it's supposed to be right here, yep, and then we just like do this, we just like fill it up with TNT, as, as you might, I mean, if you guys actually have any like suggestion on like TNT duper or something, that could work in this farm. Please let me know down below. I love street suggestions and your comments, guys. So yeah, uh, let me just like see. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now I'm just going to show you guys how to build a pretty much like a redstone clock that is like more of a complicated one and not one that will just stop producing like redstone signals so yeah you use your comparators you place that one hop it right here you place one here and then you're like yep and i mean yeah just do this block you raise this block too high and then you raise this block too high and then 
just simply use a piston and then use another piston and then later on you will need a observer block so yeah and then you just you just connect this one up to it you connect this one up to it you will need a redstone block but firstly let's just like place in uh just one minute because i need to place in one observer right down here so then fill this part up then do this and then fill it up with six items because you need six items to get the right speed and I mean yep that's six ions so now you have the right speed because it will have a lot more but you have to actually use a thing here a, yep. and let's just switch this one out and that works and as you can see, yep, it has the right pulse to it and everything. You just have to break this block and yeah. And as you can see, it works flawlessly. Yep, once you just like break these one like blocks and then yeah. Once it actually gets to fall on the obsidian, it works a hundred percent fine. So yeah, as you can see it from now on, most likely. Why did it start working or something? Uh, some of it actually... Well, I mean, this system still has some glitches to it and some bugs. I mean, yeah, for example, you can see the in invincible blocks again. The blocks that get just pushed at the right time, they will be invincible again. And as you can see, yep, this is what happens when you don't have invincible block protection. Because those invisible invincible blocks can become uh, unstable blocks. And those unstable blocks then just get into a thing. Yeah, as you can see, the blast radius just like gets destroyed by these blocks. That are these like invincible blocks right now. But yeah. And then it works again 100% flawlessly until it just like gets that pop. And yeah, as you can see again, I made a eight by like three, a eight by three one. So yeah, and then now you can just see that the drops are a lot larger. Cause I mean, I had been running this thing for like I don't know for like. 10 minutes and yeah that's like one stack of cobblestone but yeah it is like i mean i know this is not the most efficient farm in like probably like ever created because the cobblestone gem should be like going from like three sides most likely but yeah but this is the easiest one to actually turn off because if you just cut one of these lines, then it won't be working. So, yeah, you just cut that one, and then we just cut this one. And then, for example, we just cut this one. And, yeah, as you can see, it just stopped. So, yeah, I mean, you can make some piston system for it, but you have to replace it then again. So, yeah, it works and i mean this one i am actually really proud of because this one took me like like a day to make so yeah as you can see again it has the vulnerable bl the invulnerable block glitch the i mean it's still better than the invisible invincible block glitch i don't know if you guys have ever heard of that one but yeah as you can see it sometimes just gets glitched through blocks which is actually not good not good actually in this version of minecraft 
so I would advise you guys is to build this cobblestone farm mainly because uh, I don't know but the TNT is the most likely just garbage in bedrock edition if you want to see like one of the most garbage things in bedrock then just experiment with like TNT farms uh, I mean yeah but still, the nuclear TNT is still like one of the best things ever. Because, <laughs> I mean, just imagine like working on this machine, like late night working on this machine, and then it just gets a huge explosion, and you don't even know how it glitched one TNT into a million's like strength. And I mean, what I was actually surprised on mostly was that it actually broke some obsidian of this. Like, it was legit obsidian before, and it actually broke obsidian. I don't know if that's like a glitch that Mo Yang is trying to keep in Bedrock Edition or not. But yeah, I do feel like Mo Yang needs to still work out the way of TNT in Bedrock Edition. So, I mean. This is my first, like, redstone slash farm video. Uh, so, yeah, guys, this was actually the Friday special. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it didn't work out as well as I was thinking it would work, but still it works. So, I'm happy about it. But, yeah, I'm not going to literally spend that, money to, that much more time on, like, cobblestone farms because this is crazy like TNT working with TNT anyone who knows how to work with like TNT machines uh, I, ju I just all I can say is like respect that that's all I can say but for now thank you guys for watching this is you switching here like and subscribe right now and thank you guys for watching see you guys next time